A bombshell announcement in Phoenix today. It happened during Governor Jan Brewer's State of the State address. With a stroke of a pen, the governor abolished Child Protective Services, replacing it with a new standalone cabinet agency. CPS has been under fire for months after it failed to investigate more than 6,500 cases of child abuse and neglect. The governor launched an independent care review team to look into those cases. So far, the team has reviewed more than 3,000 cases. Not in your side. Marcelino Benito is here now with more on this major shakeup. Guys, still a major decision today. CPS has been plagued with scandals and problems for years, and throughout all of it, it's been Arizona's children that have paid the price. Today, the governor was clear it's time for change. Enough with uninvestigated reports of abuse and neglect. Enough with the lack of transparency. And enough. With the excuses. Governor Brewer did not mince words this afternoon, announcing a change that both sides of the aisle could cheer about. This morning, I signed an executive order that abolishes CPS as we know it. CPS has got to go! The cries to act CPS are nothing new. Every child matters! But now those protesters are getting exactly what they've wanted. We need to go even further. The time has come to statutorily establish a separate agency that focuses exclusively on the safety and well-being of children. But today's announcement didn't stop the protests. Several women dumping dolls out of an elevator near the governor's office. Overall, though, the CPS shakeup met with praise. The decision killed a broken system, and many say adds a new twist to the governor's legacy. Our child welfare system is broken, impeded by years of structural and operational failures. It breaks my heart and makes me angry. Now, the governor acted by executive order, so the legislature still has to approve her action and find a way to pay for it. If approved, the new agency will report directly to the governor. I'm Marcelino Benito, KGA 9 on your side. Thank you, Marcelino.